Bernice King, the daughter of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., has called out comedian Amy Schumer for applying that her father would have supported Israel's actions in the Gaza Strip. On Twitter, Schumer posted this clip of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. talking about Israel. Let's see uh, that uh, Israel uh, must exist and has a right to exist and is one of the great outposts of democracy in the world. My Jewish brothers and sisters said to me amid anti-Semitism anywhere, we don't need your support. We have enough Jewish power to deal with this problem ourselves. I would still take a stand against anti-Semitism because it's wrong, it's unjust, and it's evil. If my Catholic brothers and sisters said to me, amid bigotry toward Catholics, we don't need your support in this because we have enough Catholic power to deal with it. I would still take a stand against bigotry toward Catholics because it is wrong, it is evil, and it is unjust. Just. Well, Bernice King responded uh, by posting this on, tweet, tw on Twitter. Amy, certainly my father was against anti-Semitism, as am I. He also believed mil militarism, along with racism and poverty, to be among the interconnected triple evils. I'm certain he would call for Israel's bombing of Palestinians to cease, for hostages to be released, for us to be for us to work for true peace, which includes justice. He said justice at its best is love correcting everything that stands against love. We have much to correct. Here's a clip of my father talking about withdrawing from the Vietnam War and moral power. Uh, Dr. King, that the war in Vietnam could be stopped now without harm to this country? Well, there are two ways to deal with it. Uh, one is a unilateral withdrawal. Uh, I don't oppose that because uh, I feel that this is a possibility. After all, France withdrew unilaterally from Algeria, it withdrew without a military victory. Mm -hmm. And this did not lessen France's prestige or influence in the world. If anything, it increased its prestige but in France the world. France is not the power that this country is. Well, I think that's an even greater reason why. Uh, we should restrain our power. Uh, there's always the danger that any nation will abuse its power. And uh, I think our power must be much more than military power. We don't need to prove to the world or anybody our military power. I think we've got to prove our moral power. Now. Do you feel that this nation has abused, uh, as you say, uh, their power? Oh, I certainly do. Boy, um, it's always interesting, uh, Rebecca, when these people love to quote Dr. King, but they don't want to talk the rest of Dr. King. Yeah, we have to talk about the full picture. And, you know, this is what's really interesting. And I'm, you know, I'm just holding my breath when it comes to January, when I see all sorts of people, everyone from Ted Cruz to DeSantis <laughs> trying to quote <laughs> Dr. King, knowing that they do not espouse the views or even the moral um, integrity of Dr. King. And I do appreciate the King family upholding um, even the intellectual property um, of their father to make sure that when people are taking quotations, um, out of context that it is properly addressed. So I definitely applaud the King um, family for making sure that um, Dr. King's um, um, thought leadership and uh, moral philosophy um, is still um, um, integral to what his actually beliefs were. Scott? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. This, um, this whole issue of Israel versus Palestine as well as the Hamas, um, mainstream America seems to struggle with being two-headed. Uh, you're either for Israel or against them. If you show any sympathy towards Palestine and what's going on in Gaza, the death and destruction, I can support Israel and their right to be there as an important ally of the U.S., but I can certainly support a two-party state and believe that Palestinians have a right to be there, too, and to coexist. I can oppose Hamas uh, kidnapping and killing Israelis as part of their struggle, if you will. And I can support Israel having the right to defend themselves. What I find hard to support is the collateral damage 
of 7,000 or more Palestinians being dead, whether Hamas is infiltrating them or not. There's got to be a better way. Israel's got to keep the higher moral authority. The U.S. has to have a higher moral authority. And if you look at the death and destruction and the lives, that's what America is seeing. And, and that's why you have the protests on the college campuses, because young people are seeing the death and destruction in Gaza. They, they understand the wrongful attack of Hamas against Israel. But to eliminate Hamas, there's got to be a way to preserve citizens, let them leave, find them a way out. Right. You can't move a hospital overnight, if you will. And so this is very complicated and difficult. And so I stand for peace. Right. And I can stand for all those other things without being anti-Semitic. I can stand for humanity. And we meet, we need that viewpoint, in my opinion, by our leaders and others to be to be more defined and talked about more if we're going to be part of supporting Israel in a package to send more billions to them to protect themselves. Robert? Uh, we Part of it is we have to, for our, our white brothers and sisters, the ones who uh, have kind of been brainwashed by this American system of propaganda, and then you have Ron DeSantis and uh, banning books and banning, back, banning black history. Part of what happens when you ban black history and start calling it critical race theory is you start saying dumbass stuff like Amy Schumer did, uh, because you don't know the history, you don't know the context around things. You can take anything out of context and turn it in, uh, and twist it for your own purposes. Just like Rebecca said, you know, we keep hearing Republicans and conservatives quoting Dr. King, just a content of character, not color of their skin. And they forget there's a whole 1600 word, 16 minute long speech that went around that, but they take the part that they want out of it and they pervert it to their, their uh, purposes. Of course, Dr. King would be against the bombing of uh, of the Palestinian people. We just saw the the IDF admit to bombing a refugee camp yesterday. They killed hundreds of people. There was a caravan of, of of people that the Israelis told to leave northern Gaza, go to southern Gaza. Before they got there, they got hit by Israeli bombs. Uh, we uh, There's been as many as 3,000 children have been killed since uh, October the 7th. Uh, the death toll of civilians may be above 10,000 currently uh, in, Palestine, uh, in Palestine. I was on uh, Iranian TV a couple of days ago, and the, before my segment, there was an interview interview with a little five or six year old Palestinian boy. And he said, well, my father was killed today in an airstrike. My grandfather was killed in 2005 uh, by the Israelis. My great grandfather was killed in 1987 by the Israelis. So what exactly do you think that little boy is going to do? Grow up to be a cab driver? Grow up to be a baker? No, he's going to grow up to continue the cycle of violence that has been visited upon this region over and over again. And we have to stop with the, uh, well, well, there's bad on both sides argument. The We had lines drawn in 1947. We had draw, lines drawn in 1967. When Netanyahu ran for re-election last year, he ran on a platform of the total eradication of Gaza. That is what he said in his speeches. He said you have to treat them like Amalek did in the Bible. He put in place the most severely right-wing government in Israeli history, all but promising the war that we are seeing today when he put those things in place. He put together, put in place judicial reforms. They had 18 months of protest by the Israeli people against Netanyahu, giving himself all but godlike dictatorial powers to execute this type of ethnic cleansing. We have to stop pretending the people of Gaza have not been living in an open-air prison since 2005, where every movement they make is being regulated. They don't have access to medical care. They don't have access to food to water, to humanitarian supplies, and where with a flick of a switch, the Israelis can turn off uh, access to the internet, the access to electricity, shut down hospitals, etc. So as long as we keep pretending that these are even-handed actors in this uh, in this situation, we're not going to make progress. The reason there's been no two-state solution because of Benjamin Netanyahu. There are two things that have been consistent over the course of the last 30 years, violence in a continuous cycle in the region, and Benjamin Netanyahu being in power. Netanyahu who has been in power in Israel in one capacity or another longer than Vladimir Putin has been in power in Russia, but yet we don't call him a dictator. So until we are uh, going to not just say, hey, Israel, we love you, but actually hold them accountable and say we need regime change uh, in uh, Israel just as much as in any other regime, and actually say that our, uh, our military aid is conditioned upon, one, a ceasefire, 
And two, the normalization of terms and relations between Israel and the Palestinian people, or else you're not going to get this $15 billion here, this $30 billion there, these F-35s here and there. Well, that's how you actually move towards peace and use the power of the United States government to uh, to actually affect change in the region. But as long as we simply try to act as if we are washing our hands of it and we're just uh, uh, spectators, we're going to keep seeing this violence taking place. And America does not have a moral leg to stand on, because if you think Gaza looks bad, think of what Iraq looked like after we got done with it. Um, it is certainly uh, an issue that continues uh, to befuddle lots of folks. Uh, and yeah, to Amos Schumer's of the world, you can make your point. Don't pimp Dr. King to make your point, because if you want to tell about Dr. King, tell the rest of the story. So like all these people who try to see it here, these FBA B1 people <clears throat> who try to post Malcolm X quotes, talking about Democrats, I'm like, oh, y'all going to skip over the rest of that stuff? Uh-huh, yep. Y'all going to skip over everybody <laughs> else, too? Yeah, I thought All so. Right.